A seasoned businesswoman looks troubled, pacing back and forth in her office. Meet Mia, CEO of the brand new beverage startup, Wolf Cola. She set out to make her company the next big thing in the industry. Only problem is, she's got an image to maintain. Oh man, oh man. What am I going to do? No one is buying our drinks. On top of that, AB Order Soda Company is offering at least 2% of their profits directly to charity. Thank you, Mia. Thank. She pauses in place. Silence fills the room. We just need to be charitable. Mm, but not lose money at the same time. Mia walks over to the phone and dials. A ringtone is heard, then she speaks. Ryan, get to our office now, it's urgent. Okay, sure thing, boss. Enter Ryan, young secretary. What's up? I need help. What is the way we can be charitable, but not lose too much money in the process? Whoa, I don't get paid enough to think that hard. No, seriously, I need your help. Hmm, ever thought about just making more money? Our liquid assets are low and we need the PR fast. Maybe we can take a loan. But no, our debt ratio is too high. So we will lose investors. The room goes quiet again. Suddenly, on the streets below, a truck with a large print on its side drives by. It's advertisement with the large words, Coca-Cola writing, with subtext, proud sponsor of the Winter Olympics, just below it. That's it. We will advertise with a charity. You mean a sponsorship? Like giving money to an organization and low-key bragging about it at the same time? Yes, exactly. Let's get started right away. And so... Mia begins making calls to any charities that she can think of. Hey boss, a rep from St. Jude's just called. He said that they wanted to extend our partnership for a whole two years. Sales are up a whole 15% this quarter too. And so, Wolf Cola went on to great heights, passing Dr. Pepper to become the third highest grossing soda company in the world, proving that in the world of PR, when the lone wolf dies, the pack survives.